Okay, we've fitted our standard retaining bolt. This is a 15 inch trim, so from 15 right through to 17, that's gonna be fine. If we were like working on a larger rim where we've extended out to 18 or 19, like so, then we'd use the second retaining bolt that's supplied and fit that into one of these two positions, 17 there, 18 there, so that we get the tool large enough to be holding the tire in position when we're putting the tire back on. You'll understand as we're putting the tire back on why that's important. It is important for you to know that. Okay, so we've set up for the 15 now. Leave this loose so when we slide the tool back, the the end will be able to come out for the tire to sit down onto. Get some lubrication on there again, make this section here all nice and slippery. And we need to lift the tire up. Important that we're going to finish off at the valve, so straight over the top of the valve is the best spot. Just lift the tire up and slip that in there. So now we're hooked onto the rim. Get the spade end of your lever. Lift the tire up a little bit, just pull it back enough that you've opened up a gap for the tool to drop down into. And we just do the same thing we did to break the bead, drop that anchor back in and wind it down enough that you can let the tire lever go without the tool moving forward. And generally, as long as the tire's being held down, the tool's below the rim, you'll be able to take the tire lever out and just wind that right down till it touches the rim with your spanner again. And as when we broke the bead, the tool went forward as well as go down. It's doing the same thing now. Just contact the rim, that's it, it's nice and tight. Leave it there. And we need some lubrication on the tyre itself. Make this section here all nice and slippery. So now using the hooked end of our lever, we'll just sit it on the edge of the rim. Trace around to you touch the tyre. Start off taking quite a big bite. Leave the tyre over a bit. I'm not putting too much tension on there, that's fine. Now take a little bit smaller bite, get him up over there. Give a little bit of a push to get the tyre to slip down underneath the tool and go right up into the well here. And then we just take very little bites, feeding it on nice and evenly. Just little bites, taking big bites, starting to put a little bit of effort into that. So if we get that in there a little bit smaller, leave him over. Just work it on generally. Taking little bites, lock it down into place. Get your next one in. You're almost taking the tire off with the tool, with the lever before you get him over. Give a little bit of a push to get it to go past that point. Getting to the tight point now, just give it a little bit more over there. There we go, now the tyre's starting to move forward from the retaining bolt. This one out of there. Just give it a little bit of a push. Now the tyre's sitting pretty much where it should be on the rim. You can lock the levers down, that's sitting quite nicely as it is there. Disconnect the tool now and slide it back to the stopper. That's why that lubrication was important, so we can get that to slip back out of there. Just pull him out. Once it's dropped down onto there, you can get rid of the levers back out of there. Lift the tool up and just slide the tire off the edge there. And on she goes. Okay, now the seal is touching all the way around. So just using a high volume 12 volt pump, you shouldn't have any real problems in sealing the tyre back on the rim. If you do get a little bit of a leak somewhere, you find it a big advantage. Get your brush. Find the spot if you've got a bit of a leak. Just get the brush in there and you'll hear it seal up. Make sure you get the brush out quick enough. But with a tapered steel rim as it comes up, it seals itself up as you can see there. Not a real problem to pump up a tubeless tyre onto a steel rim. That's coming on nice and deep there for us. The injury that we repaired. 
There you go, that's not leaking. All right. Now, of course, as I said, this is only a temporary repair. This is going to get us back to civilization. And with the tube in there helping, helping to hold the patch in place and definitely no air leaking through there, you'll be quite surprised how far you'll get. But uh, we're not sitting on the side of the road wondering what we're going to do now. We're on the road again, ready to go.